Hi, so please introduce yourself. Hi, um, my name is Amy Liang. I work for a company called Form Factor, uh, located in Bay Area, California. We're a semiconductor test and measurement company. And um, what were you talking about here? Uh, yeah, I'm, re I'm really excited to be here today, be a, on a panel for women in technology. And today, uh, along with uh, other esteemed panelists, we were able to uh, share our perspectives about uh, uh, women in technology and uh, importance of mentorship and sponsorship. And uh, can you explain a little bit what your company is doing, what you do? Uh, sure. Um, our company is a leading provider of semiconductor test and measurement product. So for every um, consumer electronics that we use uh, in our life, and that it contains lots of semiconductor chips, before the chips go inside the electronics, our product physically verify the performance of the chips to make sure if it's good or bad, and only select the good ones before they go into the electronics. So we make the test products to uh, uh, do the verification. And you do those machines all over the world? Uh, we actually uh, make lots of those uh, products, uh, probe card or probe stations uh, in United States and also in uh, Germany. And we have uh, customer support and uh, a sales office around the world, wherever there are semiconductor fabs and, uh, and customers, and that's where our offices are. So it's like quality assurance. You kind of like check every chip that's and discard the you only keep the A plus or the perfect ones? Uh, actually, we do a variety of things. It could be just go or no go. It's good or bad decision, right? But sometimes, like computer chips, uh, they're different speed grade. Uh, lower performance uh, computing chip or higher performance computing chips. So oftentimes we actually do uh, known good die testing to verify the actual device performance uh, at the wafer level as well. All right. Uh, how long have you been working there? Oh boy, <laughs> longer than I can uh, count. Uh, actually, I've been with the Form Factor majority of my career, uh, a little bit over 20 years now, and actually joined the company while it was a pre-IPO startup, and uh, now we're a multi-billion dollar enterprise, serving all the top semiconductor companies around the world. Is the success in the company because of you? <laughs> no, I'm certainly part of the contributor uh, to the team and we have just fabulous team, uh, innovators and the great op operational team to make a high quality product. We have amazing worldwide uh, customer service and sales team, right? And uh, it takes a village to make a very uh, a complicated probe card or probe stations, and uh, uh, it's an uh, it's amazing team uh, contributes to our company's success. So how, how did the idea start, and at which point did you come in, and what was your role uh, to <laughs> bring it forward? Is it possible? Is it okay to ask? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's actually a very interesting story. Um, our company is called Form Factor because our, the original idea of this interconnect technology uh, was intended for to enable advanced packaging for semiconductor chips to make the form factor of the chip much smaller, right? And uh, but later on in our entrepreneurial journey, uh, it turned out to be a really useful interconnect technology for semiconductor tests. So we actually use a MEMS-based uh, compliant. Uh, contact to make probe card to touch the semiconductor wafer to verify its device performance. And um, so when I joined the company back in 2003, we were a small startup. We were testing um, a DRAM chips at the time to allow uh, the customers to test many, many chips simultaneously uh, to reduce cost of tests. That was really the claim of fame for form factor when we were a startup company. Company. And uh, my job with the company started as a uh, product marketing person at the beginning. 
and thanks to my company, um, over the course of nearly 20 years, I was able to do a little bit of everything, uh, mostly in customer-facing role, including business development, general management. Uh, I also later on did merger and acquisition, and uh, now I'm actually heading our global sales and application. So it's really cool. Is it true that the marketing is the most important person in the company? <laughs> oh, I, no, I don't think so. I think every it's uh, any uh, to make a su successful product. Everybody involved are super essential because you st start from a concept, which are the innovators of the technology, and then it come with a marketer who's a partner to go out and uh, get the customer requirement, and then it take amazing operational team actually make a high quality product, and then later on once you sell it, you better be able to provide the best customer service. It's a full life cycle to earn the customer trust to buy the product, not not just buy it one time, but buy it repeatedly over and over again, right? So now it's uh, uh, everybody is a critical piece of this puzzle to make uh, the engine works. Is it a uh, is it fun role to have to be in the Silicon Valley and checking the silicon that it's <laughs> that it's fine? Uh, you kind of like uh, the check for the Silicon Valley. That's right. But worldwide. <laughs> I know, it's so amazing. Every day I just uh, continuously amazed by the, uh, the different silicon innovations that are taking place in the Silicon Valley, right, and be part of the enabling technology to verify the performance. One of the major attractions for me to working at Form Factor for uh, nearly 20 years is because the silicon, every year the silicon is different and you need to innovate and make different test product to verify its performance. Yeah, it's a, a super uh, fascinating and interesting. So in the Silicon Valley, it's not just iPhone apps, right? <laughs> there's, there's still a lot of silicon stuff happening, innovation you talk about in the Silicon Valley. That's right. Uh, actually, our company largest uh, locate manufacturing locations in Livermore, California, uh, just uh, 40 minutes outside east of uh, San Francisco. We actually have a facility of 50,000 square feet where we have semiconductor fab clean room using lithography, plating, and all the advanced fabrication techniques uh, to make, physically make a wafer and uh, then t use the features on the wafer to make a test products. So yes, everything is, uh, we actually make physical product, not just the apps. <laughs> of course, software is a big part of our product, enabling technology from design and uh, verification stuff, right? But uh, yes, we actually make a piece of equipment you can touch and uh, use it on the wafer. Uh, when I did some interviews a few years ago with the people who talk about EDA mm -hmm. uh, and chip design, it sounds like it's the most advanced thing people can do in the mm -hmm. world. Like maybe there's rocket design, but I'm not sure it's more advanced than chip design, uh -huh. right? Is it very smart people in this industry? Uh, yes, it's, uh, the whole semiconductor ecosystem have amazing, amazing talent, right? And the EDA, as you mentioned, is the front end uh, uh, design process, right? And even in the fabrication, once the chip is designed and how do you actually fabricate it and also of course going into the supply chain how do you what kind of materials do you use to fabricate the, the wafer or what kind of equipment do you use to test uh, to measure right it's just fascinating uh, industry all right. And if you're a college kid or you're considering going to semiconductor industry, definitely think about semiconductor and uh, also with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Biden administration's uh, CHIPS Act and it's going to create a lot of more uh, opportunities and uh, manufacturing facilities across the uh, United States. And I think it's going to be a re a even more exciting field uh, for all the younger generation as well. And it's not only the the hugely complicated low low nanometer chips. There's a whole range of chips, right? And what is the the nanometer size on the chips you work with? Ah, it's uh, it's actually really wide range. Um, 
The most leading edge ones, as you mentioned, uh, they're currently in five nanometer, three nanometer, right? We're getting down pretty low, close to zero nanometer, if you will, right? So those are the chips that go into data centers or uh, uh, cell phone chips, um, or actually ChatGPT uh, in the, um, the AI um, data processing units, right? And of course, then there are also other larger uh, nanometer nanometers like in 28 nanometers or even higher for automotive chips like uh, that's enable uh, cars like Tesla the central control unit right so it's really uh, a wide range depends on the application all right uh, was there some disagreements in the panel um, actually, no, it's an amazingly amount of agreement, but uh, lots of different experience, right? And uh, I think the common theme was really around uh, the importance of having mentors to help create opportunities for women in technology, right? Always open the doors and support um, women and ex ex make sure that uh, they have somebody to bounce ideas with and also support them as they uh, explore the new areas. And uh, uh, even though we have men and women, that's uh, really cool to see the uh, supporter from uh, male allies on the panel. It's important to have constructive criticism and honest uh, reviews or honest uh, advice mm -hmm. in the career. That's right, yes. Uh, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, we, we become better version of ourselves because we learn from our failures and so we can do better next time, right? Having somebody who can give you constructive feedback and help you to learn from your failure. The sooner you fail, the sooner you become better. Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use WISE. WISE is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your WISE card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. Uh, don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart.